Let us end with some story time about what this election is about and what modern America is about. <clears throat> As fair-minded and mostly Christian folks, they concede that there is truth in the indictment of America's past. Our fathers did participate in slavery. We did practice segregation. Our treatment of the Indians was not what one should have expected of people to whom the Sermon on the Mount was divine command. But... Having internalized the guilt that gnaws at their souls, these Republicans in their lifelong quest for absolution are easy prey for confidence men like Jackson and Sharpton who run the big sting. Now, this book's 20 years old, so we have plenty of new Jackson and Sharptons, but you get the idea. The truth? In the story of slavery and the slave trade, Western man was among many villains. But Western man was also the only hero. For the West did not invent slavery, but it alone abolished slavery. Had it not been for the West, African rulers would still be trafficking in the flesh of their kinsmen. Slaves, after all, were the leading cash crop of the friends of Mansa Musa. In Mauritania and Sudan today, I would add Libya, slavery has returned to the deafening silence of intellectuals who have built careers on the moral shakedown of America and the West. America was a segregated society, but in no other nation do people enjoy greater freedom, opportunity, and prosperity than here in the United States. The time for apologies is past. But if middle America believes that capitulations and reparations will buy peace in our time, it deludes itself. If there were no more demands, the race racketeers would have to find a new line of work. But as long as the silent majority keeps acceding to their demands, they will keep on making them. Time to just say no. We tried apologies. It didn't work. We tried capitulation. It didn't work. We tried saying sorry again and again and again. It didn't work. It was feeding a vampire a small shot of blood and saying, now will you leave me alone? So we're done. There's the Bidens who say that killing panda bears is bad. What do you think? And then you're supposed to say, don't kill panda bears. Well, fuck that. Fuck your rhetoric. Fuck trying to frame the argument where I'm constantly on, de on the defensive. I've defended myself. I'm a Western chauvinist, and I refuse to apologize for creating the modern world. Trump is going to win in a landslide. And our only problem is going to be four years later when he's gone. Until then, we have to keep fighting for this country, fighting for freedom, and fighting for what we all know is right. Get fired. Get in trouble. Be brave. And never stop fighting. When you party just like I do, on my